America's entry into the Second World War also marked the beginning for the Sierra Army Depot, here on the northeastern side of the rugged Sierra Nevada Range in California, in a place almost nobody's ever heard of. Throughout its history, America's troops have put their lives on the line all over the world, and their success has depended upon effective weapons, reliable equipment, top-notch training, and vast quantities of supplies that arrived on time and wherever they were needed. Since 1942, Sierra Army Depot has supported the nation's warfighters, every day, everywhere, by providing rapid expeditionary logistics support to U.S. Army and Joint Service operations of every sort, at home and abroad. Hidden away in Herlaw, the depot is the primary West Coast activity for the Army Materiel Command, and for the TACOM Life Cycle Management Command. No small mission, and no small place. Some 36,000 acres of remote, high desert terrain provide the depot with ample space, very low humidity and infrequent rain, and no significant encroachment issues. Equipment and material stored here can last a long time without significant environmental deterioration. And Sierra is more than simply a storage yard. Sierra Army Depot has the expertise and the experience to provide expedient, professional, innovative solutions for a wide variety of military logistics requirements as well as essential logistics support services. For example, Sierra is designated the Army Center of Industrial and Technical Excellence for Petroleum and Water Systems, helping ensure and distribute essential supplies of safe water for troops and for ops, and of fuel for all those vehicles and all that equipment. The depot also manages the largest processing center dedicated to the reissue and redistribution of critical assets saving taxpayers tens of millions of dollars every year while improving supply availability to service members. In another successful reutilization effort, Sierra staff developed several fixtures that allow bench testing of various subcomponents prior to installation, reuse, or reissue, saving significant time and cost for the depot and for the ultimate users. Initiatives like these have markedly improved the quality of the depot's services and reduced cost to its customers. Ultimately, the operators in the field, as well as the taxpayers. Today, Sierra Army Depot provides a broad base of supply and logistics services to a very broad base of customers. Used item reset, including inspection, refurbishment, and service. Equipment maintenance, repair, and modification. Asset return, redistribution, and reutilization long-term storage and equipment preservation, asset management, including transportation and logistics, hands-on training, plus unique training facilities and equipment, and rapid response to immediate operational needs. After heavy use in the field, a wide variety of military equipment comes to Sierra for reset, inspection, service, routine maintenance, and refurbishment. The depot has the qualified maintenance personnel with the technical expertise to not only service and refurbish essential equipment, but to efficiently obtain or repair as needed increasingly hard to find parts, making short work of some otherwise unlikely repairs. Even the essential and exacting Army water purification units and the powerful pumps for inland petroleum systems are no problem for the pros at Sierra Army Depot. Sierra routinely performs light maintenance on equipment ranging from generators, motors, and flat racks to remote water and fuel systems, all of which are inspected and expeditiously redeployed to the troops, wherever they may be. In some very direct support of the warfighters in the field, the depot also reclaims excess individual protective armor components, refurbishes the individual pieces, and builds new armor kits for deployment. Sierra also started a program to recover and reissue add-on armor components for light vehicles. These initiatives, using serviceable components previously identified as scrap, not only save money, they save lives, making more personal protective equipment more available to the operators in combat and in training. 
more than simple maintenance and reset. Sierra's complete modern facilities are used to repair, modify, and fabricate equipment of all kinds. From simple racks to complex reverse osmosis water purification and distribution systems. The majority of the equipment that makes it into the maintenance shops at Sierra makes it out in Class A condition. As the Army began to draw down and recall troops and equipment from the Southwest Asian Theater, including the Near and Middle East and Afghanistan, Sierra's mission was expanded in 2004 to receive and manage the excess military assets being brought home and to support worldwide base consolidations and ongoing force structure realignments. The depot provides for receipt, identification, classification, storage, security, accountability, disposal, and shipment of nearly all excess Army standard and non-standard equipment, serving as the Army's catcher's mitt for vast quantities of material that might otherwise have been abandoned. Based on Sierra's expertise in dealing with excess material from various units, the depot also performs similar functions for excess individual issue equipment, receiving, identifying, classifying, and recording used and unissued uniform and personal equipment items from facilities around the world. Every used clothing item is thoroughly inspected as soon as it hits Sierra, and then cleaned and repaired as necessary to ensure that only fully serviceable and appropriate gear is provided to our soldiers. The depot then assembles, packages, and ships reset kits worldwide to support Army readiness requirements. This program has been so successful that the Army expanded Sierra's role in 2009 to support the Army Reserve as well. All reservists receive their initial uniform and field equipment issue straight from Hurlong. Sierra also worked closely with the manufacturer of the ballistic inserts for Army personal armor to develop a repair procedure for unserviceable plates. This operation has so far returned over 800,000 recertified plates to the Army inventory, saving taxpayers over $350 million, while increasing the availability of personal protective armor to our troops in the field and in training. Because of its extensive materiel management expertise, in 2008, the Army tasked Sierra to establish the Retrograde Processing Center for non-standard equipment returning from Southwest Asia. The depot has since processed well over $1 billion worth of unique items and redistributed more than half of those to locations around the world to meet immediate military needs. After often heavy use in logistics, operations, exercise, and combat all over the world, Equipment is delivered to Herlong for proper storage, preservation, accountability, and appropriate reissue. Sierra provides inventory, availability, and status for every one of these assets to the item managers, who make the critical decisions about potential reutilization of everything from boots to tanks. Sierra has the space and the logistics capabilities to receive, store, and distribute nearly every sort of equipment awaiting reset or repair programs, excess or surplus equipment dispositions, foreign military sales programs, or disposition service actions. Requirements continue to increase for depot support for all of these programs, and Sierra continues to improve its infrastructure assets and logistics capabilities. Sierra Army Depot's unique large-scale storage capability also allows it to serve as a unique source for certain parts no longer readily available in the supply system, and for components no longer manufactured but still needed to keep production lines running, and for repairable secondary items and spares to be provided directly to operational and support units. All items harvested from excess vehicles and equipment in storage are extensively tested by Sierra's experts before shipping to operational units or to depot production lines. Once equipment is received at Sierra, it is not simply placed into static storage. All arriving assets are evaluated and accounted. Determinations are made to maximize the asset's potential readiness value and financial value to the Army and to the taxpayers, and these items are managed accordingly. Every day, 
the depot fills request orders from active and reserve units from nearly every corner of the world for items on the shelves at Herlong. And those assets are generally pulled, packed, and shipped the same day the request is received. T-shirts or tanks, Sierra Army Depot provides the operators with the tools of their trade. The depot provides more than tools, too. Sierra offers hands-on training to active duty, reserve, National Guard, and Joint Forces units on systems and components that will ultimately be used on the battlefield. From logistics and support equipment, to personal protective gear, to trucks and tanks and aircraft. The troops can also use the stored equipment for familiarization and deployment and targeting exercise. And the depot works with potential training customers to provide everything it can to support the warfighter's needs. Sierra's extensive transportation assets, air, rail, and road, combine with its extensive modern storage facilities to provide a unique capability for rapid deployment operations. With its vast storage capacity for almost anything, including containerized materials, its airfield, capable of handling nearly all military aircraft and commercial cargo birds as large as a 747. Its rail assets, with three locomotives and 59 miles of internal lines connected to Union Pacific's main line. Its proximity to major truck routes and integral transport capabilities. And its dedicated staff of expert technicians, machinists, craftsmen, operators, documentarians and support personnel Sierra can receive, store, maintain, and ship practically anything, anywhere, anytime. Sierra Army Depot stands behind the TACOM promise. We support every soldier, every day. You've probably never heard of Herlong, but soldier or taxpayer, you've been supported by the Sierra Army Depot for over 70 years.